All right, so this was the men's pavilion. So interesting. It says the foundation is the remnants of a roofed pavilion associated with the nearby 1,830 mental health hospital patients. It was built by patients for patients and remains a tribute to the kindness of people taking care of each other. And thanks for your respect for this space and certainly that is a testament to the uh, how important it is for mental health and to uh, identify and treat it for people. Pretty amazing. All right, sundown is in about 15 minutes. So we're going to see <laughs> what we can what we can get to by then there's a dirt trail down here but it just got done raining and actually uh my wife who was in the original video that we did is warning me that it may rain i do not have an umbrella but hey gotta make the video right so we will see what's down these pathways and uh hopefully i'll be back in a moment with something cool And I'm envisioning at one time how amazing, it's still amazing to walk through here, but you know, when you get treated for mental health, mental health, it's so important to, I think, have nature and have access to the beauty that nature brings. So this must have been a pretty cool respite for those especially in need of it. Looks like there was something over here. I don't know exactly what that is, but remnants of a structure of some sort. Yeah, and this is a, uh, a landing for something. There must have been something built here. I'm not sure. This is interesting. And it is getting, <laughs> it's getting dark. Uh, and my camera is not great about that, but uh, I went the road less traveled and there's a fence here that is broken. So it makes it easy to, to get through. I think you can see that. But yeah, here there's, oh boy, you can't see it real well. That's disappointing. Um, Below the fence, there is a wall, a stone wall that travels all the way down there. But if we go down here, and I thought this might be the case, if you go downhill, there is a creek. And I remember there's some abandoned structures here, which is really cool. Look at that. So I'm gonna take a few photos because, oh, it's so hard to see right now. But uh, hopefully you can pick it up on the photos. And again, our original video, you could see much better. All right, well, we can see things at least a little better. I found the uh, flashlight function. This is tricky. Walking down these steps, and it's getting dark, and it's wet. And... Uh, yeah, just to give you a sense of what's going on here. You can see it much better in reality versus through the camera. I don't have to bail out of here and get to a place that's got a little more light. But if you do explore here, very cool. Again, they've got these old remnants, uh, walkways down to where the creek would have been. Well, actually, it's still a creek. But let's go find some more light and see if we can with some better subject matter that you can see. But this is just fascinating. I mean, look at this, the stonework here. Pretty incredible.
All right, so I headed back to the men's pavilion and then I, I'm heading straight west now. So just to get, kind of give you an idea of where we are. I'm zoomed in a bit because it gets, as you can see, really dark. And I've heard people say that this area is haunted. But if it is, it doesn't seem scary at all, at least not to me. It kind of seems like a, a more peaceful place, a place of tranquility. It's a beautiful walk. Surprisingly, on a damp, misty night, it's actually pretty cool. So if you head west from the men's pavilion and then you hit a left and turn south, it's kind of a clearing area here. And I do remember this from the first video as well. And this, I believe, if I'm correct, takes you back to where, you know, the, the mental health facility would have been. And uh, you know, I just wonder about who would have... Uh, walked on these sidewalks, these pathways, and how many people did looking for a sense of peace, maybe a sense of hope. Pretty powerful. And in the original video, I think we saw a few more ruins, but unfortunately we ran out of light. But I will say it was a fantastic adventure nonetheless, especially in the dusk and with the rain. Pretty cool. And so if you want to kind of know where we are, so there is Children's Hospital. So we are north, straight north of Children's. And it's still a place, I guess, that there's families of a loved one getting cared for at Freighter or Children's. A place where they can go and reflect and get a little break. And boy, these mosquitoes are in full force. So behind me were the grounds for the Milwaukee health institutions. And again, pretty powerful to think what, uh, what all transpired here. There's a lot of good things going on here in this area, the Milwaukee uh, Medical Complex. A lot of healing, a lot of hope. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Wisconsin Places Are Cool. Have a great day.